Hello everyone, it's your favourite queen, Android18 here, and today I'm going to do my first movie review. Yeah, you heard me. It's going to be for Detective Pikachu, so spoilers ahead for, um, yeah, Detective Pikachu if you haven't seen it already. But yeah, anyway, cue the intro. <laughs> Hello everyone. So yeah, let's start by just generally talking about the movie. So this is going to be a spoiler review. So if you haven't like seen the movie, I recommend going off the video and then watching it and then coming back if um you want to watch this. But yeah, so with the story, I'll start by talking about the characters. So I actually really like the characters in this film. The main character of the film is Tim. He is this basically kid who... His father disappears and pretty, he pretty much thinks he's dead. And throughout the movie, you learn that um, his father actually isn't dead. And it's a nice like mystery story intertwined with um, Tim's kind of growth as a character because he starts off acting like he doesn't care about his father, saying like, oh, my father left and I don't really care about him. But the only reason he does this is because he actually regrets not going to see his father and yeah he actually really misses him and I think this is cool because it gives Tim a few layers in the film because he starts off pretending that he doesn't care mainly so he doesn't actually think about his father as much which is kind of really sad and the start of the story is actually pretty like kind of depressing really but um it's good because it adds some emotional, well, it adds the emotional weight of the film. And I think they did this really well. I think Justice Smith did a really good job playing Tim. And it's not the generic Pokemon protagonist. And I really liked that. I think he did a great job interacting with um, Detective Pikachu, aka Ryan Reynolds himself. And yeah, he's very talented for being able to bring such emotion. And, you know, I think he was quite realistic in his reactions to things too. And... I think he was very talented to be able to talk to basically thin air because it's obviously CG and be able to add so much to the actual film. So I give big props to Justice Smith. I actually can't remember the main girl trainer's name in the film, which is kind of bad because I've only seen the movie once at the moment. I get to rewatch it and probably make a non-spoiler review, maybe. I might do. But yeah, she was pretty cool. She was like a detective slash news reporter and throughout the film, I believe it was DevCorp or something. I, I might have that wrong, but the main character, like the main company that made Ryan City, she wants to work for their like news team. And as you guys know, she gets rejected at the start of the film. And I think her, she didn't really change too much as a character, but um, I think she was good at bringing the plot along. And um, when she was first introduced, it actually felt kind of like an anime. <laughs> it was kind of funny. But yeah, I think she did a good job. Uh, I actually don't know the actress's name, but uh, yeah, I think she did a good job. And I think Psyduck was really cute. I think it was a good choice for her partner Pokemon. And yeah, Psyduck was really adorable in this film. And finally, I'm going to talk about um, Detective Pikachu himself, Ryan Reynolds. He was incredibly good in this film. Very, very funny. He was basically the main comedic force of the film. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds is just amazing. I think most of the people coming into the film want to see his antics, and I don't think he disappoints. However, what I also liked about this film was, although Detective Pikachu was funny, and he made the film very entertaining, it didn't overshadow the seriousness of the story. And I actually liked that the story wasn't based off of any of the games completely. Like, of course, they take inspiration from the Detective Pikachu game, but pretty much it's kind of its own story. Like, Harry Goodman, Tim's father, is also quite interesting. And if you have seen the film, it's kind of a nice twist, but some people predicted this beforehand. But Detective Pikachu actually ends up being Tim's father, but he doesn't know because he gets amnesia. And... I actually kind of liked this, although it probably means we won't get a sequel to this film directly. I actually really liked the way at the end, Ryan Reynolds ended up being his father. And that was really nice because Mewtwo, like, fixed everything. And to save his father's life, he fused with his partner Pikachu. And yeah, that was pretty awesome. And I think it was cool. I liked the way, um, at the start of the film, 
Pikachu couldn't use his abilities, like his his attacks, because he forgot how to, which was kind of funny. But I also like the way, um, I liked Pikachu's mannerisms in this film. They really did really good with the motion capture with the facial expressions. And Pikachu just looks amazing in this film. As well as, let me just talk about the Pokemon quickly. The Pokemon are definitely the highlights of this film, and they look amazing. Mr. Mime was funny. I like the interrogation scene, and all the other Pokemon that made a cameo were amazing, but I was impressed with Mewtwo. He looked really good as well. I believe Bill Nye, when he he was in this film, he is like the bad guy. When you think it's his son, but it's not, it's him. And it's interesting because he normally is a bad guy in films, but it actually had me going for a minute where I was thinking, is he the bad guy? But yeah, he ended up manipulating his technology to show Tim a fake version of the events and didn't show him the full picture, so it looked like Mewtwo was the bad guy. Which, it was kind of cool, and I liked the way they didn't make Mewtwo the bad guy. It was nice, but he, he kind of was and wasn't the bad guy, because Bill Nye takes control of his body. I thought that was quite creative, because I, to my knowledge, that hasn't really happened before, unless I'm forgetting some sort of, like, side episode or movie. But yeah, I liked the way he took control of Mewtwo's body and started messing with everyone, and it was quite creative. And I also really loved the fight between Pikachu and Mewtwo. It was awesome the way Detective Pikachu was like flying across the blimps and using his electric to um like fly across them. And then he blows up the Pikachu blimp and then Mewtwo flies out of it and looks so cool. And I also love the way Pikachu's best move is Vault Tackle. And it looks amazing in the film. And he smashes Mewtwo through the building. And yeah, just for the record, um, Pikachu should never have forgotten Vault Tackle in black and white. Because that was my favourite move with Thunderbolt. But yeah, that was really cool. And I liked the way Pikachu used other Pokemon to get around. It was quite funny. And the gas which made all the Pokemon go crazy was an interesting idea too. And they called it Chemical R. And from what I can tell, the actual R on the bottle was exactly the same as the Team Rocket logo. So I guess if they do a, a, like an indirect sequel, they could have Team Rocket with the Chemical R doing stuff like that, which is quite cool. And I noticed that little Easter egg. But yeah, the film was very good, and I really liked the relationship between Pikachu and Psyduck. It was cute. And also, when Pikachu got hurt, like, near the end of the film, and he had to be healed, I thought they were, the Bulbasaurs were going to bring him to a Venusaur, but it ended up being Mewtwo. So, that was interesting. Like, the film kind of acted like it was going to go a certain way, and then it surprised me, and... It went a completely different way. And as a long-term and hardcore fan of Pokemon, I really enjoyed that um, it was familiar but different. And I did, couldn't see where the movie was going all the time. And it was amazing. But yeah, the CGI for all the Pokemon looked awesome. I was so happy and I'm looking forward to seeing the movie again. Also, if you don't know, um, actually, if you're watching this, you do know. But you get cards when you leave the um, theatre, which is awesome. And I got the Pikachu and Psyduck twice but I think there are some different ones but yeah overall I extremely enjoyed Detective Pikachu I'd give it a very high review although it's not a perfect film it's definitely a really really good film and if I had to give it a score I'd probably give it like a probably 8.5 to 9 to, out of 10 because um it's the kind of film where it's not going to be Shakespeare however for what they were actually going for I think they did an incredible job and I was really impressed with just the movie in general. I think Justice Smith did a great job uh, as a main character because he had lots of layers and like an ogre. <laughs> but yeah, I thought it was great. I also really liked um, just the way the writing was. The only complaint I would have with the film was there wasn't many Pokemon battles. However, with how much emotional weight and the decent plot, I think... I think the film made up for it because it had lots of emotional weight and I'm not going to go like incredibly in detail with the plot because if you've seen the film you've already seen it. However I really liked um what they did with the story and the emotional moments really hit me so I think it was impressive the way they got us to care about Tim because at the start of the film he kind of he wasn't a jerk but he seemed rather immature but you find out the reason for him acting like he doesn't care about his father is because he does care and he's just trying to not be upset or as upset I should say whenever like when he's talking to the detective like the person who runs the police department and he tells him about his father and that like he wants him like he could be like him he like kind of rejects him and wants to leave because he doesn't want to be reminded of his father and when you I can imagine when I rewatch the film that little scene will be quite effective because 
it kind of shows Tim is hiding his emotions and I really liked that little scene. It was good. But overall, it was extremely funny, amazingly entertaining, the action was good when there was action, and also the creepy Greninjas were awesome. I really love that scene. But yeah, I like the way Mewtwo was a good guy and he like, I don't know what that noise was my tummy. <laughs> But yeah, Mewtwo saves the city and everything goes back to normal. But it's an incredibly cool film and I really enjoyed it. But anyway, what did you think of this movie? I actually really loved it. And the Pokemon were amazing and cute and really cool. But uh, yeah, if you enjoyed me reviewing this movie, make sure to hit the like button. That really helps the channel. Share this video if you want me to do more movie reviews because it might be something I do a little more regularly. Also, comment on other movies you want me to review, and also other things you want me to react to and discuss, etc. I have a Discord, a link to it's in the description and in the bio for my channel. Also, my Patreon is too, if you want to support me there. That would really mean a lot to me. But more importantly, I hope you have an amazing day. And also, don't forget everyone, subscribe to me, because I'm definitely 18.